We currently have 50-50. Can custody really change just because the father refuses to get a job and demands a right of first refusal every single day that the mom works? Mom is remarried and expecting another baby and won't be able to continue working full-time past January. The entire past eight months, high conflict father has demanded right of first refusal for all of mother's working hours on top of his overnights. So mom has lost most of her parenting time to him out of necessity. The right of first refusal is triggered after two years here. Father was briefly okay with mother's parents babysitting until they moved and were no longer to do so. Mom has been unable to find backup care for the days that father hasn't shown up or has gone out of town without notice. So she's been both penalized at work and ended up using her vacation days. Dad is now suing for primary custody and child support, and he hasn't been employed in almost four years. He lives with his mother he, and frequently during the day demands right of first refusal. During those days, he leaves the child with his mother or with someone else without telling mom, and mom finds out about it from the child afterwards. Hi, I'm Billy Tarasio, Arizona family law attorney. This question's from the Modern Divorce Support Group. Let's talk about it. So this is the type of of issue that the right of first refusal can cause. And to me, the problem here is the right of first refusal. The right of first refusal should not be used to allow someone to basically take away another parent's parenting time. So I think that that's an issue. The other issue that you're gonna have here is, is there a change in circumstance? You said dad's been unemployed for four years. Was he unemployed when this um, when this parenting plan went into place? Was he exer exercising the right of first refusal then? It also seems that you haven't been taking your kids even outside of work hours, which is problematic. I don't know what the terms of the right of first refusal are, but if, if this were my ex-husband and he wanted to take the kids while I was working, I would also have him bring them back when I was done working. So, I think mom needs to be more proactive here. Um, set up your own childcare and tell dad that the right of first refusal isn't working. Now, obviously you need to talk to a lawyer in your jurisdiction, but um, this is the type of gamesmanship that judges don't wanna see unless what's actually happened is that the children have ended up really living with dad for quite a while now. So, really depends on the specific facts here of what's going on. I think mom needs to really take a look at the types of choices she's making. I don't know if she's made any errors here, but I could see some potential errors. And then um, you need to make some changes probably to the way that you're handling your co-parenting situation.